I'm going to demonstrate Orchid. Notice that my brush is fairly vertical. I'm going to pivot on my elbow, and what I'm going to do is do, oops, I'm going to do a dry run to make sure uh, that I know where my brush is going to end up. Okay, take a big breath. Press, press, lift, and I think I'll just put myself out there. <clears throat> okay, that's the first stroke. Second one, take a breath. Okay, and the third one. Okay, so these are the three basic strokes for, for this orchid pattern. Um, there are many other strokes that you can do after this, and my suggestion is that you actually uh, study different ones and choose the ones you like best and then just sort of memorize those so that they're the, so you have them. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few more strokes. Maybe one right through this one would be nice. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, okay. So this is the stem. brush to do these leaves, and I used uh, Windsor Yellow and um, Indigo, Holbein Indigo. Now I'm going to use Windsor Violet for the flower and um, Holbein Royal Blue. Okay. I'm holding my brush quite vertical. I'm going to do a bud. I'm going to go press and lift, and press and lift, okay? Press and lift, press and lift. I'm not getting too much variation in color, so I'm going to go ahead and reload using a much lighter purple this time, and a little bit of extra blue. See if that gives me more variation of color. Okay. Okay. Now, flower. <clears throat> this is the stroke for the left petal. And this is the stroke for the right petal. And this is the center <clears throat> of the flower. With all the strokes should be headed towards pointed towards that particular point. There we go. And then the one in the back. So these three flower these <clears throat> these three petals are all the same length and then these are the longer ones. Okay. Now this petal <clears throat> no sorry <clears throat> excuse me, this flower is going forward. This one will go right and then this one will go left. My leaves are a little bit wet so So my best suggestion is you either let them dry or else you avoid them by the way you do your strokes. One, two, three, and four, and five. <coughs> okay, so this one's actually a little bit left of this one, so this one can be my forward one. So basically you want forward, left, and right. Could have been a little bit more dramatic than, dramatic than that. All right, now I'm going to put a couple of buds in. Again, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift, and press. For my vine to join my flower to my stem, I've mixed red and royal blue, and getting that just right so it'll actually paint without bleeding and yet not too dry is a bit of a trick. So it just it's worth the trouble to get it right before you actually start painting. <clears throat> so I'm going to press. Notice the flowers all come to one spot. These are a cluster, the buds are a cluster, and the flowers and the buds never make a cluster together. They always separate.
Mm, look at the colours. 